We've all been in stressful situations where worry got the best of us. Take Adam here. He's running late for a very important interview. Emotions are high. This is a dream job for Adam, and his thoughts are getting away from him. He tells himself, "I can't do this. They aren't going to like me. I never do well in interviews." As a result, he is feeling insecure, and his performance suffers. We can break this down further using the core concepts of cognitive behavioral therapy. CBT shows us that our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are all intimately interconnected, each influencing and being influenced by one another. By examining Adam's thinking, we can improve his feeling states and ultimately reform his behavior to something more effective. Adam might be struggling with all or nothing or black and white thinking. Leaving him unable to find the middle ground where the realistic truth usually resides, he might tell himself, "My responses need to be perfect, or they are terrible." In truth, no interviewee has entirely perfect responses, if such a thing even exists, and he may still get the job, even making a mistake or two. Adam's desire to be perfect is interfering with his ability to be good enough. With overgeneralizing, Adam uses extreme language like "never." Always, everything, and nothing to find a demotivating pattern where one may not exist. To Adam, these unrealistic patterns become the rule, and he feels defeated before he even meets his interviewer. Adam's hypervigilant defensive state may be creating a mental filter, wherein Adam focuses only on threatening or negative information, while positive information goes unrecognized. Adam for sure noticed the moment when his interviewer appeared to frown. In fact, he noticed it so much that he didn't see all the smiles she gave him before and after. This filter just gets even worse when we choose to dismiss the positive information that we see. The interviewer might be enthusiastically nodding and smiling. However, Adam might still tell himself, "She's just being nice and professional. It doesn't mean anything." This has been an example to illustrate how our thinking styles can either give us a boost or hold us back in any given situation. The list of unhelpful thinking styles does go on. Adam is definitely having a hard time, but thankfully CBT can help. Cognitive behavioral therapy offers a host of practical, simple, and straightforward solutions to challenge your thinking and realign yourself to a more helpful state. With these core concepts in mind, Adam is ready to face the challenge. He's going to crush it.